Well, 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 you love to see it, everyone. Here we are back again. People are going crazy about the new Test Your Spot series coming out here. We got Gentoo News and Canal. And there are a lot of unique fish at Gentoo News and Canal. Common bream, common roach, European eel, European flounder. We got eyed. We got thick lipped gray mullets and Xander. Lots of fun stuff to be going after here, but we're going to be starting off today with the common bream, okay? Now, just like our other Test Your Spot series, we're going to be pulling up another YouTuber's channel, seeing how they do it, giving them a little bit of the spotlight, and we're going to be testing their spot, seeing if it works out for us. So, if you're ready to catch a unique common bream, why don't you hit that like button, pack your tackle boxes in, let's get into it, everyone. It's Legendary Bow Angles. All right, Genter News and Canal. He's on the left side. This is one of the big things that always gets me about Genter News and Canal is because it is a canal. There's not like unique locations in a way. Like the unique locations are like you cast in front of the windmills, cast towards the windmills or something like that. In between these two layers of bulrush or whatever, like it's just strange things. Whereas in like other places, you'd be like, oh yeah, you know that log, you gotta cast towards that log or something like that. Genter Nuisen's a little different, but it does look like we're right here on this particular day, which is gonna be uh, nice to see. Let's go ahead and skip forward. I should say, this is a good point to say because I didn't say it in the beginning. This is by KP Shimino. It's about four years old, so I hope it's still works but uh yeah well it's gonna be fun to try out anyway so we have a uh a recipe here we got active feeder and molasses caramelized that's gonna be interesting so he is using some sort of uh feeder rod and feeder uh and you can see all the different fish he's got he's got two unique common bream in the same day that's uh that's interesting and some trophy thick lip gray he's changing the baits though um trophy thick lip gray mullet say that five times fast thick lip gray mullet thick lip gray mullet thick lip gray mullet. i can't do it all right let's move along all right now we're out and about he does have feeder rod here he's using a number one hook with peas um and he's using empty recipe which is the one he showed before with the active feeder and a uh, caramelized something or other uh interesting to see and i guess we're just gonna have to remember these uh big windmills off to the left here modern ones not old ones he's got one common bream but not a unique yet we can get a better look at his whole loadout here he's got the little uh feeder closed feeder there with his uh mix Oh, now we're seeing him running down the sides here. He is tossing out a good distance, it looks like. If those markers in the middle of the canal are uh, are the sign of where the fish are, that's like halfway. My God, pick a spot, bud. There we go. So there's a better look at... The okay, so they're not exactly halfway, but you can see all here where he's catching them. Interesting. Good to see. Another good thing to see about this is that it's not too far off. Like, you can see how he's caught lots of common bream in this specific area, so... As long as we get close to it, I think we'll be good. Let's go ahead, get into the game, and give it a shot, everybody. All right. Hey, you. So you say you like fishing and hunting in the outdoors, but you're not following the modern-day outdoorsman? <sighs> you know it's cool, right? I mean, I don't want to pressure you into doing anything, but uh, give it a shot. And I'll make you a deal. You subscribe, and I'll let you watch the videos for free. And that's a great price. Plus, we have cool shirts. So follow the MDO today. So we have our rod set up, simple little rod set up. Um, we've got the braid, we've got the feeder, we'll, we'll put the mix in, we've got a leader, we've got the number one hook, and we got peas. I've got two of them, just to make it a little bit better, and then we got our little rod stand over here as well. In the mixture, I have the Gentry News and Special, the Active Feeder, and Molasses. Now he used a thousand grams and 44 uh, grams of molasses. 1,000 grams of active feeder, 44 grams of molasses. I have converted that to 35 ounces of active feeder and two ounces of caramelized molasses, molasses, caramelized, whatever. Um, and we're gonna give that a go. See if that works. And so that helps you out. If you like to use grams or if you like to use ounces, United States, UK, blah, blah, blah. It'll work for you, hopefully, anyway. Looking at the time here, we're gonna have to skip to day four just to be able to fish for this darn thing. So uh, let's get to Genter News and skip to day four and give it a go, eh? All right, go left side side look at this 
cameras backwards and so left is actually my left amazing okay here we are with moonshiners what's going on moonshiners like your hat i got the shirt on i don't have the hat on all right so we are pretty much aiming out towards this left side here this look familiar not really but that's that's where we're gonna be casting out towards out towards here i think let's throw a marker out there just so that we can have a, an idea of where it is again like right around here maybe seems about right and it looks so far when you look at it like that all right throw down the rod stand plunk and then we're gonna put together our mix real nice and easy we've got Gentr Nusen. we got our base we got our aroma hit that mix there okay go back to over here and we're gonna go down to this throw into that and throw into this should be good to go now we just need to oh no i made the most crazy mistake you could we gotta skip the days before we do that otherwise our mix is gonna go bad frick a frack i knew there was a reason i bought two of those now we're gonna spend but $2,800 before we can even try to catch this thing. Here we go. All right, let's give this a go. 5 p.m. All right, let's mix this again. We have to catch it with this, otherwise we're out of luck. I have to go back and buy more. I bought two sets of it just in case something were to happen. And sure enough, knowing my luck, that's what happened. All righty, toss this. Oh my gosh, this can't even get out that far. That's how far this is. My God, that's so far. This is a 14 foot rod. I guess we could throw on a heavier sinker. It said three to six ounces and I put a three and a half ounce sinker on. Look how deep it is too. My God, 25 feet deep. Okie doke, there's one. Oh, we're already getting beeps. Oh, oh, oh. God, the sinker didn't even hit the freaking water. That's how far we were casting. Okay, we do have a fish on. Didn't even hit the pause on my recording. We had the fish that fast. Just a bunch of reeling at this point. It's not even that, like, it, this could be a unique bream and we wouldn't even know because it's so light. It is a bream. That's a good sign. Get in here, buddy. Common bream, 1.9. So that's just the normal size. We're out of bait. Are you joking me? I only had two peas in my inventory? Please have peas. Please have peas. <laughs> Dang it! We have one more chance. One more chance. Could this be the unique common breed? <laughs> ah, Drat sauce! 250 peas. There we go. It sounds like a lot, but that's like what? Like maybe one or two cans? All right, now we just need more of that mix. And our $2,800 trip has turned into a $5,600 trip. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. All right, we've already skipped to the day, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's go ahead and mix this together again. Because it was so much fun the first two times. Her plop, her plop. All right, let's give this another go, shall we? Throwing it out all the way. Holy crap, they both went off at the same freaking time. That was crazy. <laughs> all around, and then another, neither one of them had a bite. Much slower day than the last time we were here. Had some beeps, but that's about it. Oh my goodness. Finally have a bite. Mm -hmm. It's going up a little bit higher than the last ones. I feel like it's maybe a little bit bigger. Who knows? Could possibly have a trophy bream, perhaps? It is a bream. Okay, good deal. That's a good sign. That's what we're going for. Are you just a regular common bream? You are. But you are a little bit heavier, like I thought. Okay. All right, I see you. The old boat going by. There's little moments like this in Fishing Planet that I really like. It's so simple. So simple. But as you said, it's kind of fun. Got a dagger. All right. Looks pretty small, though. Oh, yep. Ooh, this one's a bit bigger. Okay. And I am using big river reels, which have a pretty good retrieve, but this is still a long way to reel in. Oh yeah, this guy's a bit fatter. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Oh yeah, look at this guy. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yes, let's go. That's what I'm talking about right there. The unique common bream of Gendron News and Canal. Yeah, you gotta love to see it. You gotta love to see it, everybody. That's fantastic. Oh, we even got people in the crowd saying nice one. Can we, can we type to him? Can we type? Nope, we can't type. Ah, dang it. All right. Well, top notch, everybody. That is going to do it right there. KP Shimino. We tested your spot and it worked out, man. That was fantastic. That's great. I tell you what, we have done a lot of people in the test your spot series. 
and uh, an old KP is one of those we never uh, really really had on here so I'm glad we were able to do one of his one of his spots for the old unique common brain if you want to go check out KP's channel I mean most of you probably know KP already so there you go you can go check him out but hey this was fantastic glad to be back into it everyone this was great if you enjoyed the video if, if, it, if, if this helps you catch your own unique common brain why don't you hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to join us for our live streams every Monday Wednesday 7 30 to 9 30 p.m. central why don't you do so everybody would love to see you there but until the next test your spot video or any other video i suppose take care and as always remember everyone we're one planet one family game on